Over a 40-year baseball broadcasting career, there's bound to be that one experience, one game, one place, that pinnacle of college baseball where every radio announcer wants to, at least once, sit down in front of the microphone. From an Ole Miss State standpoint, the, the, the huge rivalry and you know, we like to get after each other, et cetera, et cetera. But Jim and I have been friends for years, so I have, I've probably asked him up to that point several times, what's Omaha like? You know, he said, well, you just need to go. You don't have to wait on your team, you know, and several people had told me that through the years. I said, no, 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 I'm not going to my team gets there. Well, it was scary because the first time I went to Omaha was 1979. And at that time, you had to climb a ladder up on the backside of the stadium to get from the concourse level up to the press box level. And then you had to walk across a walkway on the roof of the stadium that had a board walkway that you walked. And it was a really a sort of a scary situation. I'll never forgot, forget the first time I went up there, I said, I cannot believe I'm at the College World Series and I'm scared to get to the booth. You know, you're sitting there at Rosenblatt Stadium and you think about all those times that you sat in little stadiums in your career and uh, at a table and a chair behind a backstop or something like that. And so we finally made it and it, it did live up to everything that the other announcers who had been through the years uh, told me. I mean, you have a separate booth. It was really cool. Of course, our league now is caught up with Omaha. I mean, our league is nuts with, with how good it is from the facility standpoint and all. But to actually walk in there, I mean, I got a rush. It's almost like first few years, you get this rush feeling like, oh, wow, I'm about to call a game in Omaha. I've been trying to do this forever, you know. But once you got into it and started doing the games, it was just normal, normal broadcast, normal baseball. But it was really unique to be there. They didn't have full booths. They just had little cubicles, no back on them. Uh, at, at first, so you just had it was like a little a little closet without a door is where you broadcast, and they had eight of those around, uh, and they stuck each uh, school in one of those little uh, cubicles, and that's where the broadcaster was. Uh, but it was uh, it was different. It was a great atmosphere. Uh, I thought we you know we played reasonably well. We stayed around for for three ball games and. Uh, but it was uh, to just to be a part of that atmosphere. Rosenblatt uh, stayed in a downtown hotel. Uh, it, it was it, Bo Carter was our sports information director, and he uh, he tried to give us a little bit. Of, he had been there before, so he gave us a little bit of a insight. But it, it was a lot of fun. But I really, you know, I think I think I didn't realize how special it was until I'd been there two or three times and realized, boy, this is this is growing. This is really something special. But it was it was a fun trip. 2009 year where the Golden Eagles wound up in the College World Series. Nobody gave them a chance, went to Georgia Tech and won the regional at Georgia Tech, headed to Gainesville to take on Florida, and I believe Florida might have been number one in the country at the time, and uh, nobody gives you much of a chance, and you beat the Gators back-to-back -back games to win the Super Regional, and all of a sudden, there you are in Rosenblatt Stadium in the College World Series, and uh, I, it's hard to believe that Southern Miss was there. Uh, it, it brought back uh, a lot of great memories. You know, you're sitting there at Rosenblatt Stadium and you think about all those times that you sat in little stadiums in your career and uh, at a table and a chair behind a backstop or something like that. Here all, you, all of a sudden you're there and there's 27,000 people there, you know, watching a college baseball game. So I would think, uh, yeah, conference championships and no hitters and great wins and things like that. But uh, it's hard to, hard to beat being at Rosenblatt Stadium for the College World Series. And 